Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, as the number of people living with dementia continues to grow, so does the number of family caregivers. Here to share important information about what families can do to care for their loved one, we welcome the author of a Dementia Caregiver's Call to Action, The Journey, gerontologist Dr. Macy Smith. Doctor, great to have you with me. I've got to ask you, this is your personal journey, isn't it? It, it is, as with millions of others. So tell me about it. You were caring for your grandmother, is that right? Right, my grandmother developed a progressive type of dementia later in her years in, the eight, in her 80s. And my father was her primary caregiver, which uh, did not always work out well. Oh. And I had to support him through that journey, through understanding what was happening, understanding the grieving, and understanding what resources were and were not available. So talk to me about the grieving, because I experienced it with my mother and, and grandmother as well. And part of it is she's not the same person she was. So it's what we call anticipatory grief. For someone who is living with a life-limiting illness, and especially someone with dementia, they begin to revert to previous life's patterns. So thinking back to their childhood, going back there. And yeah. so they look like your mom, she sounds like your mom, but she's not behaving like your mom. And so being able to grasp what was happening here to what was happening here oftentimes presents a challenge, which is why I always tell my families, caregivers, to speak to the heart and the soul of the person, because I don't care how this deteriorates, right. this never changes. Right, absolutely. How many people do you estimate have dementia? Over 7 million Americans are living with some form of dementia, and that number is expected to continue to grow without disease-altering treatments. Right, oh my gosh. And then of that, there's like, I think it's about 60% have Alzheimer's, right? Right. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type, um, but you also have vascular dementia, which is the second most common type. And then the third most common type is dementia with Lewy bodies, and the fourth most common type is frontal temporal dementia. And so if your loved one is diagnosed with dementia, the first thing you should ask the doctor is what type of dementia type? it is or what's causing it. Right. Very important. And women are at higher risk, right? We are. I mean, we are like the junk when it comes to everything. Yeah. <laughs> what we know now about Alzheimer's uh, and progressive types of dementia is approximately one third of them could possibly be prevented with lifestyle changes. Women are natural nurturers. We're going to take care of everybody else, but we're not going to care for us. And so stress is a contributing factor to developing Alzheimer's. Oh, wow. And I understand that black women are also at higher risk. We are, and so, but you'll be surprised, Helen, it has nothing to do with genetics. When we think about, number one, that women are already at the epicenter because of our stressors, there is a gene code, APOE-4, that's found significantly in women, which increases your risk. But when we look at the black community, black people are two times more likely to develop Alzheimer's, but least likely to be diagnosed in the early stages. Some contributing factors there, when we think about what we put in our mouths, where we live and how we live, a lot of the food deserts, the medical deserts, the broadband deserts are in predominantly black communities. And so we're not recognizing the early signs of dementia. And if we do, where do we go? Right. Are there, ger are there geriatricians in the area? And then the water we drink, uh, food deserts. We've got to go to the corner store to get highly processed foods. That brings about inflammation in your body, increases your risk for high blood pressure and diabetes, obesity, all of those elements increase your risk of developing Alzheimer's. Also, going back to caregivers, I know caregivers are at high risk too of, in addition to all the stress of dying themselves because they're so busy taking care of their, their loved one, they're not taking care of themselves. You're right. Approximately, we're looking at about 35% of family caregivers pass away before the person living with the chronic illness, number one. They're not recognizing their own health emergencies. They're not going to their primary care physicians to get their annual physicals and also their oral health. And so they're not paying attention to their own bodies. And eventually, Helen, the body is going to shut down. Yeah, absolutely. We want to tell our viewers again, the title of your book is A Dementia Caregiver Call to Action, The Journey. Dr. Macy Smith, thank you so much. Thank you for all you do, too. Thank you for having me. You bet.
Well, and don't forget, you can help fight a different for you can help fight for a different future by taking part in the Walk to End Alzheimer's. Join KATU and Univision Portland on Saturday, October 19th at the Oregon Zoo. Sign up to participate as a team or as an individual. We'll have a link on our website.